Hello again, YouTube. This is the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. I want to talk to you about friends and family. Friends and family. Um, most people have associates and blood relatives. They don't have friends and they don't have family. So I want to talk about that and along those lines. See, here's the thing. Y'all be calling people y'all friends as just merely associates. Because for one, if they not supportive of what you're doing, if they not supporting you, if they not helping you, if you're not going places with them, whether it be vacations, whether it be this, that, and the other, if your fun is not with a person that you're calling your friend, then that's an associate, it's not a friend. See, people get this misconstrued. So, just like if they would double cross you, that's not your friend. They're your friend if they have your back and they on your side, in your face, or when you ain't around. Now, a friend can tell you things you don't want to hear. But if it's the things you need to hear, that's still your friend. See, especially young people of nowadays, they get this, they take this to the heart. It's too, listen, man. Some of y'all is dealing with enemies. And then some of y'all is... You don't have these type of people that I'm talking about. But I want you to just keep living. Start doing things by yourself. Learn how to do things by yourself. Like go to comedy shows. Go to the movies. Go out to eat by yourself. And don't be lonely while you do it. You say, well, how can you say that? It's a state of mind, man. And I know this because I grew up with a lot of lot of friends around me. A lot of, and some people are just friends for a season. And when the season is over, they ain't gonna be hanging with you. They're gonna be hanging with a new new set of people. Don't be upset. Again, just do things by yourself. That's that's just how it is. Like I was in a clique and a mob of dudes, and we did a lot of stuff together. We go, went out together. We went to the lake, you know, because in the 90s, you know, that was the recreation. Going to the mall, going to the lake. Uh, at night, sometime we'd go to bars, clubs, stuff like that. But the people I was doing those things with, some of them I still could, but a lot of them, the season was just up. Like, my right hand man, I would call him like, he just, he stopped coming around. Like he moved like within the state, but he moved like far away and he just stopped coming around. Like he had, see, I got my number from somebody and called me one night and I wasn't able to answer the phone, but he didn't call back because he's an associate. That's just the way it is, man. Y'all, hey, <laughs> y'all be getting mad over that, man. You you be sad. I ain't got no friends. You, yes, you do. You should have one friend at all times. Two if you smart. And that's you and the most high. The most high is your friend, your father, all of that. You notice how a lot of people is just hanging around their parents now. And that's a wonderful thing. That's that's a good thing. Because that says that you still tied in with somebody that actually love you in most cases. You know, instead of people that had a use using you. See, I got I was getting a lot of women. And, and some of those dudes, they knew. If they hung with me, they was going to come to them. And they did. 
Like, you know how they used to be like, she got a friend? Absolutely she has friends. That's how it used to be in the 90s. Used to be a lot of fun. But see, now all people want to do is look down at a cell phone. That's part of the problem. And that cell phone, the light that, that comes from it, it is something in that light. Remember how on Get Out? There's something in that light that makes people antisocial. You say, well, I ain't antisocial. You in a you in a min, uh, minority. Most people are antisocial. You dealing with social media, a lot of times it's gonna make you narcissistic and antisocial. If you're not careful, if you're not a uh, escapee of the matrix. So most people have associates, man. And most people have blood relatives. They not family. If they was family, they would be helping you. If they was family, you would, you would be comfortable being around them. Not You wouldn't be like, uh, every time a get together come, uh, here we go. Uh, you do that because they're blood relative. They're not family. Family is a behavior pattern of people that you are tied to in blood association. But it's also people that you are tied to in love and supportive association. That's why they call it church family. But all churches ain't family, you see. The ones this family is the ones that support whatever it is that you do. So, stop getting it misconstrued. Stop getting it misconstrued. Learn how to do things by yourself. Learn how YouTube, if you're watching the right stuff, you have a lot of fun. On your off days from work, man, get you some snacks, order you some DoorDash or something. And just watch YouTube. You can watch movies. You can watch old shows. I'll be watching a lot of old shows on YouTube, like Hunter and 21 Jump Street, the first one when Waxer was on there with Johnny Depp. I liked Richard Greco, too. He was he was good. He just wasn't, he wasn't better than Johnny Depp, man. Sorry. But I can always think of something to do. You got to do that because this work, it's like this money be coming up short sometimes and you'll just find yourself working too much. Uh, you got to find ways to entertain yourself, amuse yourself, you know, other than just always being around people that just want to insult you and talk down to you and talk down on you. Those ain't friends. Those are associates. Talk all behind your back. And if you're a kid and you're dealing with bullies at school, let's say you're dealing with bullies and so the other kids don't be like hanging around you like that. So what? Get over it. Get over yourself and do what you got to do to go to the next level. The nerds get the girls. I'm going to show you something. They get the girls. You get your money right, get your body right, you'll be able to change a lot of that. But it's all right being a nerd. That's a good thing if you do it the right way. I mean, just ask Bill Gates. Just ask. There's so many people you could ask. The nerds are the richest dudes in America. The little extrovert, fake alpha males, they broke. So, you could think of something to do. Have you ever played Sims? Sims, all it is is you working. You do, It's crazy. Because on Sims, you just working. 
uh, you have a little fun, you work out stuff. Same thing you do in everyday life. People will play Sims on the game, but they won't play Sims in real life. How is it fun in the game, but not fun in real life? I'm telling you, it's because you ain't you ain't keeping the right perspective. You ain't keeping the right perspective. So just realize that because somebody y'all got the same mother and father. Don't make them family. Now, my sisters, I get along fairly well with them. But this is how I, even if I didn't get along with them, this is how I would view it. They not going to ruin my day. They not going to ruin my life. So as long as you know that, you'll be all right. Just like I tell my kids this. And my kids, they done caught on because... My kids, they didn't really like deal with their cousins a lot. Like they had, they got a lot of girl cousins for one, but they used to play with one of them in particular when they were younger. But then as they start getting older, 11, 12, stuff like that, she started acting different towards them. So they don't even, they don't even be thinking about her. Like they barely talk to her, even when they see her. And that's how it should be. Like, if you got cousins, like me and my cousins, we talk when we can. And I get along fairly well with my cousins. But we not tight like we were when we were younger. And it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it is. It's not going to ruin my day, though. And it shouldn't ruin yours. If you're dealing with the same thing, like if you... The way the world is now is the people who try to act like the dysfunctional black gang banging, uh, rap music about killing people and all this. If you not like them, if you just the type, if you the Steve Urkel in real life type, man, don't worry about them. They they'll be good. They'll be glad if they make it to see. Their, uh, excuse me, their adult years. So, don't worry about that. Have you some fun? Do some fun. You like you like gaming online? The game. People be oh, you a lame. You you play that game all day. So, I got in a debate with a kid about that. He said all his cousin want to do is play the game and stuff like that. I'm like. What's wrong with that? Should he be out there stealing cars? He a lame because he don't want to steal cars and go to jail. Man, get out of here. That's how you know. They done did any of y'all teenagers and adults. If you think that that dysfunction makes you cool, the racist white man, you remember that Montgomery bra? Them type of dudes got you around the neck. If you think that stuff is cool. Like, I talked to teenagers a lot when I was in DT. And they was like, yeah, man, when you get in trouble, though, the girls be liking that. And they was talking about how they be choking the girls and pulling their hair during sex. All of this is dysfunction. Sex ain't supposed to be no fight. But that's how this generation, somebody was like, choke me. I'd, I would, I'd be like, man, I'm not finna do all that. And then for one, they'll do that so they can come back and say, do you like they did Jonathan Major, Majors and Bill Cosby. So you got to be careful with that, too. But anyway. Thanks for watching. Hey, listen. Be your own friend. Go to school. Do like I used to do in high school. Like, I knew a lot of people. And I had some friends. But in my mind, I didn't, I didn't even care. I knew why I was there. I was done playing in high school. I did all that playing in middle school and elementary. And then I was playing in college. And it cost me. I was playing around. Could have been playing sports, could have been doing all kind of stuff. But 
You not in high school to play. You be feeling lonely. People looking at you funny because you walking by yourself. So what? What's up with y'all generation? Walk by yourself. What, you gonna hang with one of the crews? Black man, you should hang with us, man. No, no, you shouldn't. Not if they're getting in trouble. Let me, say, let me tell you something. Thug life is gonna get you killed or get you locked up. And if it don't do either one of those, it's gonna get you on food stamps, wick, and all that other stuff. You gonna you gonna put yourself behind by 15 years. You say I'm out here getting cheese. I'm out here getting money. Yep. And when you go to church or something, you change your ways. You gonna be 15 years behind. You can't tell me I don't know. You can't tell me I don't know. When you trying to stay out of jail and you only working a job, you got to change everything from your money habits. It, it sometimes it could take people 20, 25 years. So don't even start that cycle. But anyway, I'm gone.